Hi everyone, this video will help you answer question number 9 on your NRES 151 Library Exercise Practice Form. Question number 9 asks us to use one of the library's online streaming video collections called Films on Demand. This collection featured, features educational videos and it's really a great source of videos on subjects in the natural resources and environmental protection disciplinary areas. I'd like to encourage you to think about using educational videos in your research. In addition to books and scholarly articles, educational videos are another great tool to use in research because they offer a visual way to bring awareness about a subject to people who are interested in your research topic. Here's question number nine, and it asks you to use the Films on Demand educational video collection. Um, we're looking for a specific title, and it's The Price of Sand, Silica Mines, Small Towns, and Money, which was distributed by Green Planet Films. Once you find the film, you need to describe what it is about based on the summary and segment titles that you can find in the details record for that item. You can certainly watch the film as well. So to find the film, let's first start at the library's homepage at www.uwsp.edu slash library. Then you'll find the hyperlink to the library's online video collection under the Search at UW box with the hyperlink named Online Videos. Let's go ahead and click on that. This link takes you out to a listing of all of the video collections that the library subscribes to. You can see up here at the top. Uh, at the top you'll see the Films on Demand uh, collection right at the top of the list. Let's go ahead and click on that hyperlinked title for the collection. Clicking on that hyperlink takes us to the search interface for Films on Demand, and you can see by the vendor's name in the upper left of the page that that's the, the interface that we have. You'll also see a search box like we see for any search tool we've been using. This is where we're going to enter our search terms just like before. So here I'm going to enter the precise terms based on what I know, including price, sand, silica, mines, small, towns, money. For the same reasons I mentioned in the introductory video, um, to this assignment notice that I left out extraneous words like a and of or the to limit my search and keep it as precise as I can. So let's go ahead and run our search. And here is my results list and based on my search I have 18 results. Notice that this database offers their filters or their limiters a little differently than what we're used to. They're not on the left hand side of the page. Instead they have a brief uh, form of limiters at the top called more filters. If you click on that you can see one of them is called all producers and we were given a clue in our question that Green Planet Films is the distributor or producer of the film. So let's go ahead and highlight that and then we'll click done. Clicking done will rerun our search and now we have 18 results. I'm sorry, 16 results. The title at the top of the list is looks like the title of the film that we want. So let's go ahead and click on that hyperlink title and that should take us out to that item. So after we clicked on the hyperlinked title to get more details for this item, you'll see right at the top, uh, here is the film. Here's the title of the film. And if you want to watch the film, you could click the play button. Or for the purposes of this question, we're asking you to describe what it's about. So you could either watch it or you can look at the uh, what we call segment titles. These are titles of the segments of the film and they basically act like uh, chapter titles in a book. In addition to the segment titles, you could scroll down and below the thumbnail of the film you'll see a description and if you read that it'll give you an idea of what the film is about. So between the, the description and the segment titles you should be answer, able to answer the question 
and then describe what the film is about for question number nine. So with that, this video has shown you how to look for an educational video using the UWSP Library's online video collection called Films on Demand.